All right. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, it is coming right now. This is a team that had 28 fourth quarter comebacks last season, the most in the NBA. Who's LeBron going to call his new teammate? Here's the commissioner. With the 19th pick in the 2008 NBA draft, the Cleveland Cavaliers select J.J. Hickson from North Carolina State University. J.J. is not here. Cavaliers didn't have a pick in last year's draft. J.J. Hickson becomes the eighth freshman selected, which ties the record for most freshmen in one draft. And we're only 19 picks in. 6'9", 235-pound freshman from North Carolina State. Jay, you just mentioned him. You look like Nostradamus now. Well, he, he's really strong, and, and he's powerful. He's an explosive big guy. He's got an NBA body right now, and he, he tries to bury his defender down deep in the low post and just overpower him. He's got some post moves, although he can still refine those low post moves, but he, he's really, really strong and powerful. That's the best thing about him. I think the one question that you have, he's a little bit undersized uh, at the power forward position in the NBA, and I think he needs to work on his ability to step away a little bit, but, but his motor. Is he going to bring it every single night? But I think you put him around some veterans that can teach him how to do it, and I think he'll come along. I like the idea of young athletic guy that can get on the block. You look at Cleveland last year getting rid of getting rid of Drew Gooden. You need a presence on the post other than Elgowskis. I love the move. The defense to stop him. And here's the rookie. Two. Throws the hammer down. J.J. Hicks and the Cavaliers lead by seven. He says, okay, I'm going to try and get it in there this time. Quick. This time he said, you won't stop this one. And so it took him three chances to understand professional ball. 17. Daniel Gibson throws the oop to J.J. Hickson for the dunk. Look at this oop pass to Hickson. Throwing down Cavs. Up by hey, and Cavs.com with uh, J.J. Hickson and the rest of the media here. You got to be pretty pleased with the way you played tonight. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty pleased with the win. Anytime we win, I'm pretty pleased. But uh, everybody contributed tonight, and we came out and got the W. You seem like you're more confident as the season goes along in your face-up jumper. Would you agree? Is, is, is it just a confidence factor for you? Uh, yes, yeah, confidence, and I know I've been working on it all season to get it to get it more consistent. I mean, uh, coming to this game, you have to learn how to shoot. You can't always drive the basketball, so that's that's a part of my game I'm going to continue to work on. Anything technique-wise that's, that's really kind of fell into place for you with the jumper? Uh, just just to be patient and just to hold my follow-through and uh, just just focus more on making the shot. JJ, you've kind of been in and out of the lineup. Sometimes you're getting minutes, sometimes you're not getting minutes. Talk about the the consistency and the confidence factor that you deal with in, in being you know, a rookie and dealing with that. Uh, I've learned that I have to be ready at all times. I mean, some nights I might play, some nights I, I may not play. So just, just staying focused and being ready mentally and physically with my numbers called. Your ability to block shots in, in a snap of a finger, have you always had that ability? Because, you know, we didn't know that much about that aspect of your game until you got here. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not something I really worked on. I think it's just my basketball instinct to see where somebody going up for a layup to block the shot. But I think for, for a big man, I have, I have good time. I mean, sometimes the refs don't think so because they, they call it goaltending. But like in this game, I think. Yeah, it is what it is. Though. <laughs> but, you know, LeBron said that you keep it in bounds. Ben Wallace is very good at doing that, where, of course, LeBron crushes it into real Q. Uh, I told him he can go up and just grab. It. He ain't even got to block it sometimes. But yeah, I mean, I think man, Ben keep 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 the ball in bounds for the for the most part. And that's kind of an act too, right? Because I'm sure first instinct is the one to swat it out of bounds. Oh uh, yeah, but I think me and Ben is looking more to start the break in. And when you get a block and start a break in, you get a dunk. I mean, just the crowd into it, and it's a it's a game changer. Yeah. Has he taught you any uh, tricks of the trade in terms of uh, blocking shots or rebounding? Uh. No, nah, not not so far as block shots, but rebounding, yeah, and, and, and post defense, of course, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, thanks for stopping by. No problem. J.J. Hickson, part of the victory in this uh, one-sided affair against the Memphis Grizzlies. Now, of course, the Cavs get ready for this uh, big four-game road trip, one of the cities in which his hometown, Atlanta, GA, to end that, or I should say, game three of that uh, four-game trip.